Hi everybody, Sarah here. Okay, I'm just going to go with this um, because I haven't been getting out videos the way I want to. I've just been too busy. Um, and I really want to do this. I really want to see if I can really um, relate to other people. If there's people out there that are searching um, the topics that I'm going to be talking about. I hope what I've learned in my personal experiences can help you guys because that's what this is designed for. I've been in a position where I've, you know, looked for people that can relate to what I was going through and there weren't there, you know, and I went to counseling and it's just not the same if they don't relate. So that's what this is about, you know, and the topic I'm going to talk about today is the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to just um, start with this verse because um, I want to try to include a verse in every video because it's really the most important thing to think about. It's the only perfect, true love and truth out there is God's words. So the verse is, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. And this verse really means a lot to me, and it almost makes me want to cry when I read it, because it was all I had to hold on to after, um, after I took my daughter and my dog and we just fled abruptly from an abuse situation and we just left going across the country and I just kept trying to make sense out of what happened and I couldn't make any sense out of it and I kept just putting it in the Lord's hands and just asking him to help me and he just kept putting laying this verse in my heart just so you know to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding so it really just helped me realize that I'm not going to be able to understand the abuse that happened. I'm just not. It's just not something I'm going to be able to understand. You know, God didn't make us as robots. He made us with free will. And people choose to do things that are really, really wrong because that's their free will. That's the way God designed them. You know, our God loves us. God loves you guys. You know, he loves us to give us a free will. You know, there is um, something called transhumanism that's happening in which Satan is going to be taking over bodies and he doesn't give you guys a free will there isn't a free will in that so for those of I mean I'm not going to even be reaching the scientists and evil ones to, for them to hear me say this but for anyone who might just be led into the deception I mean that's the huge difference between God and Satan one of the many huge differences is God gives us free will and Satan doesn't Satan wants to just use us as vessels to do his dirty work and not this not the same with God anyway so that verse, it really meant a lot to me, and I was really tormented a lot by the pain that I was going through um, in healing, and I just really found myself using music as an outlet. Like I said, I did go to counseling, and that did help. I did learn some, and I was on my knees praying, um, but I still wasn't getting the relief I desired. It actually wasn't until a strange... You know, it was, it was kind of a series of events that had happened that started leading to the relief I wanted, the peace, and, and just the, the, the feeling of just being in a lot of, a lot, a lot of pain and just feel like you have a knife in your heart and just feel sick at the same time and just a really, really bad feeling like there's a lion following you around trying to eat you, just anxiety and just bad feelings because of trauma. So I was really trying to, you know, reach just heal from that because you know I'm I'm a mother and I want to be the best mother I can be so I, I want to just heal through things I do whatever it takes you know um, and also I'm always an I'm always an advocate for exercising and also nutrition I think that everything has to be in balance body mind and soul that it's not just gonna be a quick fix I don't believe in you know pills just a quick fix I believe in getting to the root of the problem so I believe it's really you know a counseling and then the soul only God can heal and then um, health and nutrition is also going to help um, just the hormone system act at optimum so that everything's in balance and you are in a good mood so anyway I had done the counseling and I was still feeling really really not at peace and just tormented and my daughter was going through counseling and she did great and she um, we were both living you know busy lives that most Americans have to live she was in school I was working full-time and really what time do you have to heal when when that's your life you you really don't uh, my mom did me a huge favor and she blessed me with the ability to not have to work full-time and and through that you know it really allowed me the time to heal so if you're out there 
and you are working full time and trying to heal, I really empathize with you. I know how hard that is. Just try to get some time because don't be so hard on yourself. You need time to help you too. So either way, I was blessed with some time for healing. And, you know, I knew that I wanted to go to God because I knew that he was the answer, but I just felt like he didn't really love me. I just wasn't accepting his love and just angry at what, what, at what happened and didn't make any sense out of it. So, you know, I was just messing around on the internet and I was on the site and I was talking to this guy and I was just saying, you know, I wasn't really in a good mood and he was saying why and I'm like, I'm not really sure. My mom says it's spiritual um, oppression. And this guy was like, actually, the Holy Spirit is um, urging me to give you an encouraging word, and I, I feel some oppression, too. And I was really, really, like, taken back by that, and it just made God all the more real, and it just really helped my faith, helped me believe more, like, the Holy Spirit is working, wow. So when he said that, I was like, whoa. And I talked to my mom, and she's like, you just need to really pray and ask God to cry and cry out against the spiritual oppression and ask him to help you understand and how to pray against it. And so I started and I started doing it and I just got on my knees and I, that's how I always pray when I'm, you know, really wanting to be serious and be close with God. So I just got on my knees and um, covered my head and just cried out and said, you know, Lord, I don't understand the spiritual oppression. I just feel like there's always something on me. I feel so oppressed. Like I just feel pressure all around me all the time on my chest, just anxious and just nervous and just all these negative feelings and these negative thoughts I'm constantly fighting with. And, you know, the Lord really opened my eyes to things. He started showing me, like, when I would go to the Bible and I would look for something to read, like, he would lead me to verses like, e like Ephesians 6.12. And that verse, it says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but our battles are against principalities of darkness. And or, I don't have the verse in front of me and I don't have it all memorized. Now I'm going to have to find it. I don't, know, I, have, I don't think I have it written down in this book. I have to get my Bible. Hold on. I really want to read this verse because it's, it's just a blessing. It's a huge blessing. It's opened my mind and my eyes to our battles being spiritual. We think that we're fighting against financial problems. We think we're fighting against physical problems. You know, a lot of those stem from a spiritual oppression. There are demons of depression. There are demons of physical sickness. Um, and the Bible says God's, God's everything. He's awesome. He's almighty. He's brilliant, smart, made everything. He knows, you know, this is the truth. This is what, what's going on. So when he says that we're fighting against, you know, not flesh and blood, that makes me be like, whoa, how come I feel like I am? How come like every day I feel like you know, I'm like, I have to feed the flesh, I have to, you know, literally feed it, give it water, you know, go to work, and I'm struggling with, oh, okay, I need to succeed in getting a house and getting this stuff accomplished and that, and that's like a fight right there, so you, that's like a materialism fight, but that's not what the Bible says our battles are really about, so 612, let's, let's, here, here I go. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. That's really, really serious to me. I take that stuff really, really serious because I have really found it's really made a lot of sense to things that I've experienced in my life and historical events. And I do want to do a video on spiritual world and I'll therefore in that video give those experiences and events that I'm referring to but this verse you know really opened my eyes to the spiritual fight that's going on so I started praying all the time against spiritual oppression and crying out and asking the Holy Spirit to help me just to bless me with the ability to not feel anxious that he just fights against the demons of anxiety, fights against the demons of depression that are attacking me, that he um, helps, that the Holy Spirit helps keep my feet from falling in the traps of Satan. And I started praying in prayers like that. Also, another huge relief I found in, in prayer is how I was praying. You know, I've been a Christian since I was six, but I've learned a lot in the last 
like eight months my eyes have been open and my faith has grown immensely and I'm just so thankful because I just never knew that I could experience peace like this with God I mean I kind of thought it but wasn't sure like if it was as good as it sounded and it is I mean the peace that God can give us is just amazing so anyway what was I saying <laughs> um no how to pray so always ask the Holy Spirit to give you the ability because before I would pray like um, God God help me to not want to you know have, be promiscuous God help me to not want to be angry God help me not to you know cuss God help me not to be, whatever it may be you know but I was always saying God help me but now I pray differently and it's really helped now I give all the credit and all the um, requests to, and put all the um, focus on the Holy Spirit in me and I don't think that I can do anything at all so I'm putting more reliance on God and I'm I'm praying like oh Lord bless me with the Holy Spirit so that I so that I say stuff like oh Lord bless me with the Holy Spirit to give me strength to make it through the day I pray stuff like that and stuff like um, you know, oh Lord, may your Holy Spirit in me help me love patiently and kind. And, you know, I pray stuff like that, asking the Holy Spirit and relying on the Holy Spirit to do the things that I'm asking for in me. And it's really, really given me a lot of hope, joy, peace, and it's really, really helped me. So anyway, this is a little bit longer than I wanted, and I'm sorry I look like junk. Because <laughs> I've been working crazy hours lately, so... But anyway, seriously, if there's anyone out there that can relate to this, you know, let's just chat whatever we need, we can do to help each other. You know, I'm still healing. I'm still learning and going through this. And also, I don't want to hear any negative comments. I don't want any legalistic Christians telling me how the, what the Bible says about this, that, and the other. Because I understand all that. And I understand there's a lot of legalistic attacks out there by Christians. And I don't want to... I don't want to um, I'm not even going to address those. I'm only here to address those that are asking for help. That's where I'm going to put my time. So, God bless.